Ravens men's hockey in action on Friday night. Francis Dupuy getting the start for Carlton. Facing him, Brendan O'Neill for the UOIT Ridgebacks. Pick it up first period, Ryan Van Stralen and Owen Werthner both lay in the boom. We'll skip to the early second. It's Mike Robinson finishing off a kind of a scrambly play. A lot of defensive mistakes there from Carlton, and it's 1-0 for the visitors from Oshawa. 90 seconds later, Ryan Van Stralen in on the backhand, beats O'Neill, and we're all tied up at 1. However, more UOIT here, and it's the same two guys that were in on the first goal. Carlton caught with three up ice. It's Robinson to James Woodcroft, and they hook up again. 2-1 Ridgebacks. Brendan O'Neill with a wicked cross-crease blocker save on David Weckworth, keeping it 2-1. Francis Dupuy early third, couple big saves of his own, and then late Jason Shaw, Adam Campagnolo back in the net, 3-1 UOIT final. Kevin Bailey and the Queens Gales in town on Saturday night. Uh, Bailey, one of the top goaltenders in the CIS. Pat Colleen and the Ravens looking to bounce back uh, as he made his first start since last week. And we'll pick it up in the first, Alex Boivet. And Sean Bamford both denied 1-2 on the doorstep by Bailey as the Queens netminder doing what he does best, stopping the puck. Then Justin Stevens robbed in the slot by Bailey, tracking him across to make a save. Then Brett Wilichka side of the net, fans on the one-timer. That was a good opportunity on the follow-up, another save from Bailey. Then two-on-one early in the second, Darcy Greenaway holds, shoots, he beats Colleen Blocker side, and it's 1-0 for the Gales on the road. Then early third, more Queens. Puck's going to be sent to the point. Quick shot by Pat down, beats Colleen Glove side. 2-0 at that point, and try as they might, Carlton couldn't beat Bailey. There's Sean Bamford getting robbed. Ryan Miller-esque stick save. And finally, Sean Boudreau put it away late for the Gales. 3-0 your final. Carlton swept at home for the first time on a weekend since December 2011. With Ravens head coach Marty Johnston after a 3-0 loss against Queens. Marty, uh, just your initial thoughts on this uh, weekend sweep here at home against UIT and the Gales. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know when the last time that's happened, but, uh, you know, we weren't very happy last night in terms of some of the things we did. I thought tonight guys competed hard. Uh, we took pucks to the net. We had more traffic and, uh, you know, just uh, we got to get out of this. And uh, I thought the guys took a step forward in terms of working hard and working with the system. So, uh you know, we got to move on and, uh, and get to work on Monday. And uh, you talk about systems, power play obviously, obviously struggled again tonight in the third period. Uh, what do you think has to change on the man advantage for your team? Yeah, I don't know. I actually thought their power play tonight looked a little bit better. And, uh, you know, yeah, we just mishandled pucks. I don't know uh, what you can do with that when uh, pucks are bouncing off guys' sticks and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, you, regardless, you have to find a way to produce and, uh we tried some different guys, and uh, we'll keep doing that until we find a successful uh, unit.